Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West. Mm. Uh, Kanye West is crazy. No, no, no. Supposedly, mm. yeah. Well, I mean, maybe you know, I say that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll say that. Kanye West is supposedly, maybe, possibly soon dropping an album. Uh, the album name oh. is uh Donda, Donda. Um, after his uh, you know, his uh, beautiful late uh mother. Yeah. Uh, um, he had a listening party at Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Uh, odd place for him to throw a listening party, just, just like any other place. I don't know why you think Atlanta. Why do you think the Mercedes Benz? I mean, Stadium? they had a listening party in Wyoming. Yeah, I was just like, well, who, who, the, fuck, he do he who the fuck is in Wyoming? Yeah. Him, he is, because he has property. In Wyoming. Yeah, and he left that motherfucking night in the Mercedes Benz. Who fucking would not? Stadium. If I'm Kanye West, I would love to fucking be like in like Wyoming or fucking Dakota somewhere and like have uh, my own shit and just get away. Like I'm that would sure, be the best thing in the world. Okay. I'm sure that's Wyoming the is a I'm beautiful sure he place. Can go away and people will not be all over him. That's I'm true. sure Wyoming is a beautiful place. I'm sure it is too. However, it's full of people that don't necessarily care for my type. So, possibly, I'm not gonna be out there in no damn ranch. He has having a rooting and tooting and hooting ass. He has acres and acres and acres, and acres, and acres of land. Nah, he has right. land, bro. It's not like, going to be like, me. You're going you're gonna to upset your, like, uh, your Wyoming, be kind, like, Howie Stacks fans and stuff. They're they right, going to be exactly. sitting there with like, your, like, Jersey on. Our Wyoming, like, somebody's that out there listening to us. Like, oh, no. Cowboy it up. Yeah, Howie, I ain't going to front. With a loudspeaker, like, y'all not sucking dick at this point. Y'all might not be sucking no dick out of here in Wyoming. Kanye West has an album that's coming out. Donda. My fans don't Sold out. He sold out the Mercedes Benz Stadium for a listening party, and oh, no. he didn't put the album out after he did that. Uh, so, <laughs> Boaz is a renegger. Uh, he's a renegger. He's the worst kind of space player. Bro. He's all. He's, <laughs> he's oh, also man. living he's in also, the stadium. He's also homeless. He's out. He's also homeless the, currently because he's currently living at the stadium. Richest homeless man ever. ever. I, I saw that. He already. dresses like a homeless man, and he moves and he like thirty five dollars for a bag of chips. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? So. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about somebody first, get my man's? What do we think about the listening party? What do you think about him having a listening party? What do we think about um, him throwing at Mercedes Benz Stadium? What do we think about some of the clips that we've heard? What do we just think about Kanye? Boo, West? What do you think about it? Yeah. What do I think yeah, about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about it? I'm asking you what you guys think about it. I just want to know. I mean, listen, this is Kanye West. I put nothing. I, I mean, think my man's then ran out of crazy to give us goddamn. I, I, mean, I put look, nothing past Kanye oh, hey, West. This shit, this shit. Like this is like it, like when I seen him like in like a red puffer suit <laughs> with the exclusive Yeezys on and and and, and, and like a stocking uh, on. And, yeah, don't forget about the man. He looked yeah. like a fucking. He looked like uh, um. He looked like the nigga from Don't Be a Menace, South Central, drinking your juice in the hood before he went in to rob the bank. <laughs> Drive, motherfucker, drive! Well, like he, he had yeah. to, he did yeah. rob people with those concession uh, snacks. So to <laughs> so me, forty dollar hot dog, man. To me, it's hot dogs plural. So it could have been like three, listen, three hot dogs. Uh, listen, forty dollars, one glizzy is enough. I don't know. <laughs> so the fact that you are buying multiple glizzies in a night, you sir, are wild. You are three wild. glizzies for the forty. Three, three, three glizzies. glizzies for the 40. <laughs> so I mean what do I think about it I don't have any expectations when it comes to that's Kanye that's that West. Wyoming shit I've allowed Kanye West to that's live that and Atlanta breathe shit. and do <laughs> what the fuck it is that he wants oh, to God, do so whatever Kanye West decides to do I'm gonna be okay with it because I don't have any expectations for Kanye West to do anything regular or normal. Like this is this like it's like when he does something like this, it's totally expected for me because yeah. like when he randomly pops up and does wild ass shit I have no no quarrels about the yeah. situation. Um, does he take things a little over top and go a little bit answer like you know asinine with it? Yeah, but I mean it's because he's Kanye West, right? He wants to be considered like one of those pantheon greats, like those elite people that do weird shit. And we're gonna look back and like remember when Kanye West did this, remember when Kanye West did that. Yeah. He's doing that purposely so that way we have something to talk about. Um, music wise. It sounded like typical Kanye West music. I can't say yay or nay on anything specifically yet, because apparently it's not done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even catch that. I just, uh, yeah, I, I swear I don't. Uh, I'll see you with the wordplay, bro. Um, mm-hmm. and, and he's officially living at Mercedes-Benz Stadium until he finished the album. Who knew that they had a fucking studio there? Like, what the fuck? So, I all of this shit. He built that shit. What do we think about Kanye West's um, intrinsic way of doing, just doing things with up. music? Hurry up and motherfucking drop that shit, nigga. I'm tired. What do we of think shit. about Donda? What do we think about hmm. just 
the quality of music. Fuck the antics. Fuck the bullshit. Yeah, yeah. What do we think this album is going to be? Is this going to be like Jesus be is King? Do we going to have some religious shit? Like, what is this album going to be about? I heard what is he going to say? Is it, we going to have divorce bars in here? Are we going to have like Kim, Kim uh, shit? Like, what do we think is yeah. coming? Yeah, bro. Oh, I think he's, I'm he's, interested to know. Yeah, yeah you know, he's I feel gonna like he's going to thirty hours maybe type like, shit. Yeah, I mean, he might tap into some like 808 type stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I feel like he might like kind of take it back, you know, because I feel like. Do you think we're gonna have a decent amount of samples? I'm lost in no. no, no, no. I don't. Th- I don't think he's so? on this one. I you feel like. Gonna... Yeah, I don't know. I feel All like he's music? gonna. Uh, yeah, gonna I feel go like... straight easy. Yeah, I feel like auto-tune. he's gonna be so. Yeah, auto I feel like Weird he's gonna go. Shit. Weird, yeah, like percussion. it's gonna sound like probably like yeah. demonic at certain points and shit. Probably, um, you know. Yeah. yeah, I feel like he's gonna yeah, go hard on so. it and stuff. So. Just because he's gonna be so like, I feel like with being at the um the stadium and stuff, he's gonna try to like isolate himself almost how like you'd hear about like mj back in the day when he worked on thriller and stuff and how like he would write on the mirror and shit like i feel like he gonna be like on that Some type eccentric of eccentric shit right yeah. Exactly. right yeah i'll be yeah i'll be honest with you bro i think this is a very important album for kanye just super important like the like the time that mm-hmm. the, nigga the you said that last seven out no 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 this is different this is different this is different shut up and listen to me the last album that he released it was because like he went through that whole uh jesus change like the whole religion thing like he was really big in religion it was like okay kind of trying to get better like he found himself in god like it's just like that's what the last album was but like this one it's coming at a time. Do when... you believe? And I, I'm I'm just throwing this okay, out yeah, there. Yeah. Do you believe that the Jesus play is is a way to buy his soul back? Oh, look! If you believe that he ever sold wait, his soul wait. in the first, I need you to explain. Not explain re, not re, not in, not in, re, not in okay, not yeah. in reality. As if like he actually signed his contract with his name and blood. Got you, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking theoretically speaking. Okay. Do you feel like it's an overplay? Was it an overplay based on the fact that he felt like he may have been making no, really demonic I think and that, really like low vibration music for so long? Like he was trying. But to I mean, what the, like? Uh, like okay, if you want to get all biblical and shit, no, you know I don't want to get biblical. I'm like just, music I'm just being, is I'm just being th- theoretical. I'm not, I'm not, the de- not the devil's the angel of music, so all like music yeah. just is what it is. Like, so I don't think like I mean I think that nigga just really felt like he found God and yeah. shit, and then yeah. I found myself not wanting to hear that shit. But I mean that's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Kanye finding <laughs> God kind of led to. Oh. Kind of like what we're seeing now with his like divorce with Kim K and everything. It's just like, I feel like that was just a moment in his life where he was like, yo, okay, everything is in perspective now. I get it all. Well, Kim K, you it's know, his whole family was at the at the. I understand. Party. I understand. And I'm not saying that there's bad blood or anything. I'm just saying that the Jesus is King thing was kind of just like, he just really got into God in that moment. He was like, bro, he's like, I was about to lose myself. And I found myself in this music, in Jesus and all this shit. Like, I want to talk about it. I want to make a whole album about it. I think this... He used the clarity that he got from the the religion, the God, the everything to like even him naming the album Donda, bro. Like he he's he's reflecting on his mom. We've always known that's been an issue with him. Mm-hmm. That's why that's why people were saying that he was going through all the mental health issues, bro. Yeah. But I think that he's naming this album Donda because what it's, like, it's you know because I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, no, but no, I mean no, like good, it's one thing to be grieving, right? Yeah, over a loved one of a person that was in your life, right? Yeah. Personally, you know. I mean, not to put your bit, but personally, you know what it's like to lose your mother, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a different. I've I've yet to feel that strife. Now, okay. had some loss. Okay. Yeah. Do I know what it's like to lose my mother? No. Mm-hmm. Especially at a time where things are moving well and moving in the right direction, yeah. and I was doing this whole, I was making a life trying to for you, and mm-hmm. it didn't happen. Then there's a line of saying, "Hey." And you never know what somebody's real attachment is or what somebody's real actual like relationship really is, truthfully. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's always a line of like, okay, there's grieving, and then there's a sense of like guilt oh. and responsibility yeah. that's there. And it just with Kanye, and and not to make light, I just feel like there is a different level of why he potentially ha- went through what he went through, mm-hmm. yeah. g- got to where he got, and is to where is where he is. <laughs> Based on his situation with his mother, okay. right? 
I don't know personally. I'm not, and this is not me to try to say like, oh, like, are you saying like he sacrifices his mom? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, is that just, uh, just on the level of, hey, listen, you know, do you, she might not have been in the situation she was in if it wasn't for your success in the first place, right? Yeah. yeah. So yes, that well, right. That, that the, so do we feel like that is a yeah. maybe that's a, very, that's a huge possibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's all I'm trying to say. And I don't mean that's with any disrespect or yeah. any intent to be disrespectful yeah, in that way. I just want to try to find some level of understanding for what it is that, you know, Kanye has gone through, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's talked to people, and I'm sure he's he's talked about this in some way, shape, yeah, or form in a private setting. Yeah, this is what I want to ask you, though, is like, do you think he's still grieving? I think he might yeah, still be. Yeah. When, oh, I mean, like, what you think, Chris? when did she pass think? away? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. Do. I think it might be a case of just being like codependent. On his mom, because okay. you think about the fact that he had like literal songs and stuff just about her and stuff. I mean, one of the hardest best songs he had was the Dear Mama, you know, Hey mm-hmm. Mama, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that shit was hot back in the day and shit. And so like just that relationship, them moving around and stuff a lot during his childhood and stuff. She was probably the person that he could constantly like talk to and stuff because you know what I'm saying he may not have had like friends and shit like that until high school until you got to Kenwood and all that and settled down and stuff in one spot for a long time so he probably got that and then having that strong connection like you say and stuff built on the fact that she probably wouldn't have been in that situation and stuff you having those two things and stuff like kind of clash and stuff it's like you got that connection with that person but at the same time it's like I want to do so much more for you and yeah. stuff you and I never got a chance to right yeah so yeah, that's that, I mean that's all I was really trying to get to. I just want to know what do we feel like Kanye West is going to be able to tap into. And the only reason I even bring up his mother is because obviously the album's named after her. And I feel yeah. like if we're gonna tap into her, I feel like yeah, if, I feel like if, if brands, I feel like yeah, 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 right. But I feel like if Kanye was here running things. and I was interviewing Kanye, one of those questions that he I would ask, like I would I would ask him that question. He would not like us. <laughs> I don't see why he would. I think he would, bro. He would like, like you. Yeah, no, like yeah. I think he would like you. No, I, I would just be honest with him. I would just be honest yeah. on how I felt and how I feel. And I think he'll appreciate that. And as a matter of fact, I've seen some interviews and I've seen some clips with him talking to different people. Even I saw a clip from with him talking to a paparazzi person that apparently happened like a couple years ago. Um, where paparazzi was asking him stuff and he just stopped and talked to him and just was like yeah. he was just basically like, you know, like Meaning doesn't see these. He said, could you, and as they got done with the conversation, he said, hey, listen, could you post this whole thing? Like this whole conversation, this whole interaction between me, me and you? Because I want people to know that, like, I understand that you have a job and I have a job and I know you feed your family with this and, you know, you don't want to come out here and ask me crazy ass questions, but that's your job. And you're doing that to get this ends, there's an end, there's a mean to an ends and you're trying to get somewhere within your career. And I can't hate you for it. You know what I'm saying? Like as a person, you know what I'm saying? I just... You know, but if he was here, I'd ask him those type of questions. Like, do you, th- what, what do you feel about this album? Naming it after your mother. I know it's just more than just, hey, it's a, it's a resem- or it's a, 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 um, like a remembrance of her and things like that. Of course, but like, I feel like there's always more with you. You're always more technical, and you always move and do things within a certain way and have a certain light behind you. So, what levels are you tapping into? With this album, because naming it after your mother, yeah. I know you take pride in that. Yeah. Like, I know you want this to be the best album you've ever done. What level are you getting to, and how are you tapping into this to do this for her and for yourself, as well as, you know, other things that may not necessarily matter, your music career, or your, your legacy, or whatever. Like, what are you doing different here? Like, these are questions that I would ask him. I would want to know. Yeah. And I would want to dive in a little bit more to get a more understanding of him. That might be the psychology in me. That might be the 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 want to 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 analyze. So be it. I that's what I would do. And I know, hopefully, one day if we ever had an opportunity to ever meet, you know, and I could interview you, that's that's the direction I would go into. It's no judgment at all. Fuck, I've talked. I've heard some crazy shit about crazy motherfuckers, and trust me. I don't think there's nothing that you could say to me that would make me be like, oh, I can't fuck with you no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I've heard you say that slavery was a choice, my nigga, and I still had a right, had a way to defend that. <laughs> I wasn't defending that shit. But theoretically, it was. I like the music. Yeah. You know, but yeah, reality is, is like, nah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? So that's just that. Um, 
I, for one, think that I have a feeling that this album is actually going to be different from the other ones. I think that we're going to have an opportunity to hear some shit that maybe that might push the envelope. Um, there's a lot of people in the industry backing this album and that have, may have heard it or have heard a good a lot. portion yeah, of it. Yeah, that are like, yo, no, 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 y'all don't understand. Y'all don't get it. Like, And so I'm excited. I mean, Jay-Z's even on it, right? Yeah. Think about that. That's right, right here, yeah. <laughs> Think about that for a second, right? Yeah. Jay Z ain't been on the album song with him for a minute. That was a big moment. Jay Z don't get on pairs. shit. Like Jay Z doesn't just hop on music. Nah, bro. Like, like nah. It took him how many years to do the fucking uh um uh uh living the dream song with fucking Nas? I was like, yeah, it's the sit down with Nas. That's exactly what I thought of. I was just like, yeah. Like, Think about that. It's a, it's a and that's moment. that's Khaled, who's who's done music with him. Yeah. Well, it, you know what I'm saying? So. Good music on the way, guys. Good music on the way. We'll figure it out. Niggas woofing, but they talking like it's big facts. We on ball shit. We don't got no time for that. What's going on? It's A-Lo Boo. And it's your boy, Howie Stack. And thank y'all for watching the Some Some Podcast. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hey, yo, Mike.